Okay, Harry here, just <clears throat> Lord Potato, and this is, well, what if Naruto was a reincarnation of Song Jin Woon and Gojo Satoru? Now, I did this, well, I did a recording previously, but I accidentally stopped recording, so I deleted it because it was only 10 minutes long. Because, well, my dumbass sibling had to come back and annoy the fuck out of me, and I was about to just kick her to the fucking, to the fucking curb and leave me the fuck alone. But yeah. I was, uh, yeah, I'll talk. <laughs> but yeah, um, let me go and okay. So I uploaded this yesterday. I don't need to do a recap. I don't recap. Let me go into what it really happened. Into what I let as I left that off. So of course, let me mention something. Uh, Naruto only can use fifteen percent uh for Gojo and San Jin Woon abilities. San Jin Woon abilities. So yeah, with that happening, he also met Karama and Hasi became friends with Karama somewhat. Well, not somewhat. Well, yeah, they became friends. So, yeah. Of course, Naruto, when he was about to reach through the door, Hano's, uh, Samuel did stop him. Now, I don't remember what I actually called him, but it's, I'm just going to call him Sam, it's Samuel. Samuel actually has dark blonde hair and also dark blue eyes. Now, of course, Naruto says, let go of me, bastard. Now, of course, is where Samuel says, I can't. Because I want you to be my, well, be friends with my sister. Raven, this is Naruto says, uh, too fucking bad, I'm not a clan heir or anything like that. Samuel says, even though you're not a clan heir, you were kind of too skilled to be a clan heir. Or, not even a clan heir, a civilian. So, uh, Naruto, is that your name? Yeah, Naruto is my, that is your name. Um, you are going to be friends to my sister, if you like it or not. I really don't care, because you seem so powerful. It can be probably be even more with her. And this is where Naruto says, what? Of course, Gojo and Song and also Kurama just said, what the fuck is this man going on for? He's a ch- Naruto's only 18. <laughs> They're like, they kind of separate uh, separate the connection with what's called Naruto for a second. And they all just say, bro, he's 8. The fuck is this man talking about? Kurama, just give him the track and fuck him up. Just take control of Naruto's body and fuck him up. Uh, I probably would, but Naruto would not like that. He doesn't like want to show what to call me off or anything like that. True, true, true. So Naruto says, screw you. And Naruto tries to kick out what's called Samuel. Then Samuel dodged, and of course, Naruto was about to just kick back at Samuel, but Samuel decides to well, body flicker and appear right behind Naruto, knocking him in the neck, knocking him out. Now we go into 30 minutes, uh, well, 30 the. 30 minutes later. Now, Naruto wakes up. He's on a chair. And, of course, Naruto, he looks up and he sees this man. Man with just dark gray hair. Kind of like dark, kind of red eyes a little bit. And, of course, well, his name is uh, Karasu. So, Karasu. Now, of course, this is where Naruto says, who the hell are you? Uh, this man says, my name is Karasu. So, you're Naruto, right? Naruto says, where the hell am I exactly? Naruto looks around. This is where Karasu explains that. This is going to be, well, you're in the compound of, well, my clan, exactly. Now, Karasu and Raven and uh, what's it called Samuel are from a clan called... Well, not really a clan, but mostly a priestess. Like a priestess and all that. And, of course, Naruto says, a priestess. Seriously? Then, what the? Naruto tries to, like, walk towards one of the walls until, well, this is where, well, Katasu says, don't even try, Naruto. You wouldn't be able to jump over it because there's a barrier there. You might see, you might be able to use chakra on your legs and try to walk over it, but you can't jump over it because there's a barrier. Every other clan, like the Blood Clan, the uh, Ice Clan, or even the Light and Dark Clan, actually has what's called seals around their what's called compound to have barriers. We have a good friend that's allowed that. Also, the Karama Clan, the Karama Clan that allows you to get rid of your Genshin a little bit. Not to say how the hell does he know about that? Now, of course, it were well. Karasu said, "Hmm, very interesting." So, come on, Naruto. Um, what's it called? 
just come here and let's talk. It's nothing wrong or anything like that. Not hard to see. So I might be able to break the barrier, but I don't know if I can. That's where Katasu says, if you're thinking of trying to break the barrier, you can try. Or you can fight me. But if you lose, you're going to have to be forced to be with my granddaughters as her friend. And also the other heirs. Since you might have no friends, no relationships or nothing like that. Because you're only 8 years old at the same time. So you don't look like you're the type of person to have friends or anyone. No, I just say, okay, this man just gets me a little bit. This is where Katasu says, that's why I want you to be friends with my granddaughter, Raven. Now, of course, this is where Naruto says, and what if I don't want to? Well, then you gotta defeat me on a fight. That's where Naruto says, seriously. This is where Katasu said, yes. Now, come on, Naruto, fight me. Also, we might have to do this a little bit faster, because, well... There's going to be a party, a, f a celebration, because of all the clan heirs kind of going into the academy for the first time. And actually, one step closer to being a ninja. Also, even though you're not a clan, and also our seals, well, the person's seals are, weren't that great and all that. They're not as good as, like, the Uzumaki or Namikaze. He kind of looks at Naruto with his eyes kind of gleam gleaming. And of course, Naruto just said, how the hell does he know about the Uzumaki clan? This is where Katasu says, if, you, if you're wondering how I know about your last name, well, well, what's it called? Um, Samuel managed to find some of your, what's it called, information from a, uh, not a um, an ambu that told uh, about you being a prankster and all that. <laughs> very interesting, very charming of you. Awesome. The Uzumaki were very powerful in their seal arts. And since you have the last name Uzumaki, you're basically from that clan. A clan that got wiped out. Very interesting. The last of your clan. And Arch just says, damn, this guy knows way too much. Uh, gonna try to escape. This is where it was called. Well, he kind of already recognizes Karasu is not any regular ninja and all that. Every ninja that Naruto managed to fight... When he was seven years old, he fought against like Jonis and was called uh, Ambus. But those Ambus and Jonis just got cocky. Karasu seems like he's calm, collected, and all that. So, this is where Naruto is like, damn it. I might have to fight him. Is there a Karasu say, then come on, fight me, Naruto, if you can't? I'll be sitting here. Or well, not sitting here. I'll be standing here, waiting for you to try to attack me. Naruto does. He rushes at Karasu only in academy speed. Tries to kick at Karasu. Karasu says, Oh, I know you can do a lot more better than that, Uzumaki. This is where Naruto dodges almost a kick to the face. And of course, Karasu is impressed because that was only a getting kick attack. Gain, getting speed kick. And, say, and then he said, You're pretty good for only being 8 years old and managing to dodge. Getting speed. Maybe, what if you can dodge tuning speed? So he tries to kick at Naruto only in mid tuning speed. And Naruto managed to dodge. And Naruto tries to kick at uh, what's called, well, not kick. He tries to punch at what's called Karasu. Karasu dodges the punch and starts laughing. He's <laughs> like, you're pretty good. It seems like you are mid tuning for being even eight years old. Then again, there was Prodigy, it was someone named Itachi. He was a prodigy and he was 8 years old and still pretty good. This is where Naruto says, whatever bastard. This is where, well, Katasu says, come on Naruto, I'm only joking. Come on, fight me more. Naruto tries to knee him, then uppercut him, then try to kick him. Which he missed all those attacks because, well, Katasu seems a little bit too fast for Naruto. This is where Katasu says, even though you can dodge... Uh, tuning speed and all that. It seems you're holding back in your punches and speed. Your strength and speed. And those where Naruto says, No, I'm not. I'm not holding anything. This is where Karasu says, Really? Then, 
release. Naruto saw the impact of Chakra that was about to hit him to get rid of his Genjutsu. Naruto jumped so fast, real fast, kind of putting uh, what's called Chakra into his legs and jumping away. Of course, this is where, well, kind of says it's interesting. You put Chakra into your legs to jump or further away from me. And also, you managed to sense the chakra. I'm amazed. And also, that speed wasn't even academy level. But like an eight-year-old. No, that was at least Joni's speed. Hmm. Maybe because you added chakra, but then again, who really knows? That's where Katasu decides to throw kunais at Naruto. Naruto dodges the attacks and easily just dodges them. He even grabs one of the kunai before it hits him. This is where Katasu says, you're pretty good. Really good. You're definitely an Uzumaki prodigy. Naruto says, I don't care what you are talking about. But screw you. Naruto throws the kunai at what's it called? Uh, well, Katasu. And Katasu almost managed to dodge it. But it kind of went so fast that it actually did cut him in the cheek. So. Katasu did get cut on the cheek. Because Naruto did kind of throw it with, like, what's it called, using kind of cursed energy in his arm. And, of course, this is where Katasu smiles and says, you're pretty good. Really good. <laughs> you are actually amazing. You'll be perfect for my uh, granddaughter. This is where Naruto says, what the hell are you talking about? This is where Naruto tries to knee at what's it called, Katasu, because he wants to escape, just leave already. Because he needs to go do some dungeons next. And he doesn't have time for this bullshit. So he tried to knee at what's called Karashi. Kicked him also. Then tried to punch him. And punch him with his what's called right arm. Punch him with the left arm and right arm. This is where Karasu managed to dodge those attacks and says, <laughs> You're pretty good. This is where Naruto says, Damn it! Just leave me alone and let me go already. This is where Karasu says, Ah, but why so angry, Naruto? We're just having a little fun of training. This is where Naruto says, I don't care about this. Leave me alone already. I don't like being near any of you. Karasu says, why is that, Naruto? Naruto says, nothing. I just don't like any of you. That's where Karasu says, anyone in the clan or just anyone in general? Naruto says, hmm. That's where Naruto says, Anyone in general. This is where Karasu says, hmm, very interesting. Now, Naruto was kind of like what's it called. So he was in front of the Karasu, but Naruto's also in front of like what's it called. Kind of near a gate. Well, not near a gate. He's kind of, his back is facing the gate and all that. Like a gate to leave into, well, not leave this old battlefield because he has Naruto's in like a training ground field and all that. Because he sees dummies and all that. Now, of course, this is where the gate goes into the compound. But Naruto doesn't want to go into, like, the whole house of, like, whatever. He wants to leave. Now, of course, this is where he hears. Well, he doesn't hear anything. Um, He kind of senses, like, more people are coming. This is where Naruto rushes at Karasu and tries to kick him. This is where Karasu sees that Naruto is actually trying to, well, try to pull on kill him. Now, of course, this is where he sees this and decides to say, well, one chakra attack. Uh, what's it called? He, like, goes through hand signs so fast that Naruto actually saw those hand signs, but could not, like, react fast enough because he kicked and was caught, well, uh, Karasu. So, of course, he couldn't move out of the way unless he made Shadow Claw, but he doesn't want to really... Reveal that he can actually do jutsu. I mean, he can already has jutsu like genjutsu, but yeah. This is where uh, Karasu says, "Wind style, windbreaker." <sighs> he blasts Naruto into the gate. Now the gate does like open like two members of what they call the what to come. So the clan's name of the priest and all that is called Saishi. So, of course, two Sashi members actually, like, opened the gate and wanted to talk to Karasu because also Raven's there and uh, what's called Samuel. And also what's called, well, uh, well, uh, Karasu's daughter. 
Now, Karasu's daughter actually also comes, like, not the granddaughter or anything, like grandchildren. No, his actual daughter. Uh, his daughter has kind of light gray hair, uh, kind of reddish eyes a little bit. And, well, she kind of just is kind of not pale skin, but kind of tan skin a little bit. But, yeah, of course, they kind of see something fly past him. And, of course, he, like... The object or something smashes into the what's it called building. Now, of course, this is where all of them turns around and it's somewhat blonde hair, one blue eye kind of open, the other one kind of closed because well, he's kind of hurt and whisker marks. This is where well, Katasu's daughter says, "What the hell are you doing, father?" This is where Katasu says, "Ah, shit." This is where Raven also screams at her grandfather and Samuel kind of goes up to Naruto and says, Oh, hello there, kid. Naruto says, You fucking bastard! And tries to punch at what's called Samuel. Samuel notices the speed and dodges the attack and says, Come on, Naruto. It's fine. You're just bleeding a little bit. But Naruto is kind of like bleeding from, well, his right side of, well, near his eye and all that. That's why his eyes kind of close. Naruto's kind of hurt. Of course, he also has like wooden kind of like, uh, how should I say? Like wood in his like arm and all that. Well, back and all that, kind of just bleeding from there also. And Naruto says, "You fucking bastard!" Now, of course, this is where Katsu says, "Oh, come on, daughter and granddaughter, don't just scream at me like that." Of course, this is where what's it called? Katsu's uh, daughter is named. Her name is uh, Ma uh what's it called Magu Pai, and of course, this is where well. She just kind of glares at what's called her father. And of course, this is where what's called her husband. Someone with kind of like, uh, what's called not blue eyes, but uh, brown eyes. And also kind of like light brown hair. Well, not light brown hair. Light blonde hair. And of course, came. And of course, says, what, what happened with the other clan members and also the other different like clan members from like the Blood Clan, Ice Clan, uh, the Darkness and Light Clan. Uh, the Kurama clan and even the uh, Seal Master kind of clan. Uh, the Seal Master clan, I'm just gonna call it Hira uh, Higura Hirashis. Hirashis, that's what their name. Now, of course, it's where they see the blonde boy kind of screaming at Sa uh, Samuel. Samuel says, Come on, Naruto. <laughs> of course, the other clan air like kids and all that sees Naruto. And of course, Naruto's coughing up blood now. That's where Samuel says, Don't worry, let me. Let me help you. Naruto slapped us and let me go already. Naruto sees that he's bleeding. And of course, this is bad. His Genji is careful at any time. Because if he takes massive amounts of damage, his Genji is going to have to fall off. Because Karama actually has to like pump a lot of chakra. And his Genji is going to have to fall off. Now, Naruto cannot really, uh, what's called, react fast enough and trying to use Limitless. Because he's still training how to use Limitless from Gojo, but yeah. And of course, this is where Naruto didn't even want to use Limitless. But at the same time, he should have used it. Just like, Naruto's kind of tired now. And of course, he was about to pass out. Until, well, there was only one thing left to do. And that is try to use Kurama's Chakra. And, well, try to run away while going into a... Well, how was it called QB cloak at all? Any of the QB cloak tails or anything like that. He doesn't want to reveal that he's the Chinchuriki of the Nine Tails. Actually, then again, Naruto wouldn't. He thought about it like scaring the shit of them, leaving him alone. But then there's the uh, what's it called Seal Master and tried to steal his like power away or whatever. Naruto is in try to deal with that. Doesn't work well. Naruto says, "Damn it! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do?" This will work. Samuel just tried to, like, well, use his hand out and, well, says, Come on, Naruto. This is where what caught Naruto slapped it away again and says, Leave me alone. Can I just. Oh. Naruto's back is hurting more because it's bleeding more. This is where Samuel says, oh, I have to knock you out again. Naruto says, I'm not letting you do that. Samuel says, Too bad. Samuel, this, uh, what's caught here right next to Naruto, was about to just karate, uh, like, What's it called? Neck chop him in the back of the neck. Until Naruto says, I won't let you do that. His eyes turn red. It's only Genji's form, yeah. It turns red. 
And of course, this is where Naruto dodges the attack, grabs Samyo's arm, and he starts breaking it. Samyo's like, Ugh. that fucking hurts, Naruto. But you're hurt, and you need help. Naruto, he started kind of healing because there was a little, like, cut on his, like, forehead and all that. He starts healing a bit faster. This is where Samyo notices and says, what is that? Why is there orange chakra on him now? Naruto, he realizes he's using Kurama's power. And stops using it for a second. And this is where what's caused Samuel says, what was that exactly? Of course, the other clans realized Orange Chakra and were confused. Uh, Karasu also noticed the Orange Chakra. Raven and even Raven's mother, even what's called, realized that. Naruto added more Chakra. Orange Chakra, but until his legs. This is where Naruto, he jumps very, like, high in the air. Naruto's right now on top of that building and all that, on top of like the clan building, and it's kind of hiding up there for now. We're not uh, hiding up. We've kind of just tried to take out the freaking, uh, well, the, uh, how should I say, the stuff that's kind of like stabbing to his like back and all that. He takes it out. He kind of want to scream and all that, but yeah, he kind of takes it all out, the little sparks and all that. And of course, he kind of asked Karama to kind of heal it for fast. Karama's trying to do his best, but he doesn't know if he can do it. So, of course, this is where Karasu says, Hello there, Naruto. Seems like you're healing pretty fast. Can I ask why you have orange chakra? Naruto says, None of your business, old man. Leave me alone. You're the reason why I'm hurt. This is where Karasu says, Aww. That's kind of mean if you kind of saying that. And Naruto says, I don't care. Sir, Karasu says, well, then again, I'm happy to knock you out so we can actually properly heal you. And maybe get rid of your Genjutsu. Then again, it's kind of breaking. Yes, Naruto's Genjutsu is kind of breaking now. He's, it's kind of showing a little bit of his white and black hair. And Naruto says, Genjutsu. That's where, well, a little bit of crack started appearing near what's called Naruto's kind of eyes. And this is where, well, his left eye, well, not left eye. His right eye, Genjutsu, cracks a little bit and it shows the mask. The mask, the, I mean not mask, blindfold. Naruto just says, screw it. I'm going to have to use the Kiwi. Karama, I'm going to have to use your chakra. Karama says, but that will break your Genjutsu. And not if I put chakra into eco amounts. We're going to have to punch that goddamn barrier. Would we be able to? Well, there's nothing else but to try. That's where, well, Karama says, fine. Then I like to do it. That's where Naruto, he punches the ground underneath both him and Karasu. Now, Karasu noticed what was happening, but Naruto's hand turns into this bubbly orange chakra, and he punches it, breaking everything. Now, of course, all the clans members, like, jumped away and all that. And they say Karasu kind of land perfectly fine and all that. Raven says, what the hell are you doing? Grandfather, that's where Nard, he's right now in the air, uh, not in the air, he's right now in one of the pieces of rubber, rubble, and this is where Nard says, okay, time to add two tail chakra cloak. So two tails appear, of course, it's kind of breaking its schedule a little bit much faster, but then actually kind of healing a little bit more uh, slowly and all that. Nard, he, like, what's it called, well, jumps from the rubble towards the barrier. Now, he sees the barrier is like this yellowish kind of color. This is where Naruto, he punches it with what's it called, Karama's like chakra, but also adding what's it called, well, what's it called, cursed energy. And this is where Naruto says Black Flash. So, yeah. He kind of learned it a little bit from Gojo, kind of tried to teach him how to use cursed energy a little bit. But, yeah. This is where Naruto punches the freaking barrier and it shatters. Now, of course, Naruto's Genjutsu breaks during that, and also he kind of lets go of Kurama's chakra, and he just smashes into a um, building on it, but luckily the building was abandoned from the, uh, what's it called, compound. And Naruto kind of is hurt really bad, but Naruto just, just like, handles the pain. He kind of bites into a t-shirt and all that, but his arm is kind of hurting. The arm that he used to punch was a cop, the barrier. Not from the impact of his, like, power and all that. No. Somewhat. It's from that, but also kind of colliding with the building. Now, the building was made out of bricks, so yeah. 
This one, Naruto's arm kind of hurts now. It is going to take a while to heal. This is where Naruto starts fucking running now. This is where every class member and even Katasu is impressed. They saw this orange kind of color just appeared and disappeared. Like appear and disappear because that was Naruto's speed right now. Now, of course, <clears throat> this is where half the clan members are speaking and all that. This is where Haruzen and Anbus appear and say, what just happened here? Of course, the clan members just kind of lied and said that there was there was some kind of intruder or another. And Katasu managed to kind of kick him to the uh, curb and all that. They don't know where that person went or anything. So, yeah. Now, of course, this is where Haruzen says, but that was the nine touch and jerky. I mean, not nine touch and jerky. But the nine tails power. Could it be? No. I don't know much about the, what is happening. Okay, that is fine then. Then I will let you celebrate back again. Of course, Haruzen leaves and all that. And of course, this is where Naruto... He is right now at, well, just near the slums of the Leaf Village. Or not even near the slums of the Leaf Village. He has just... After kind of managed to escape from the clans and all that, he managed to get towards one of the gates. And one of these gates doesn't actually have, well, people guarding it. So Naruto uses that gate just to leave the village for temporary time. He doesn't want to stay here if the clan members are going to try to chase him again. Especially the guy with dark gray hair and dark red eyes. He doesn't want to fight that guy again. Of course, this is where it was caught. And Katasu and the others kind of wake up the next day. And of course, they were all kind of drunk. Except for the younger clan heirs and I. Uh, what's it called? Samuel, he wasn't drunk. He didn't actually care that much about drinking or anything. He's 16 only. This is where another person who's 16. Name of... Uh, name of, what's it called? Rin's, well, what's it called? Older sister from the Karama clan. Her name is what's it called, uh, Rihanna, Rihanna, and of course she talks to uh, Samuel about his arm. Samuel says it's fine, it's fine, it, it's perfectly fine. Uh, Rabiana says bullshit, and of course Samuel says, fine, it's not fine. Okay, that kid did manage to kind of squeeze my arm and break some of my bones. It hurts a little bit, but that'll be fine. Rabiana says, why did you go up to the kid and try to help him? Why did he look so angry at you? Like, what did you do to him exactly? Hmm. Samuel says, I might have knocked him out and kind of took him away from his house and brought him to the clan. So where Rabiana says, so you abducted him? She said it out loud and some of the, what's it called, younger clan heirs were kind of just talking to each other and they heard this. And, of course, Rin kind of asks her sister, what do you mean abducted? His sister, uh, Savion says, I didn't abduct him. I didn't abduct him. I just... Okay, yes, I kind of abducted him from, from his apartment. You moron. No wonder he seems so pissed. But I just wanted to know why he's hiding so much power and potential. Maybe because he doesn't want to deal with you? Then again, he probably didn't want to deal with any, uh, what's it called, any of us. He probably just wanted to live life normally. Uh, he probably did, but, you know, he's gonna have to go to the academy eventually, right? This is where Raviona says, okay, you realize how the academy barely cares? What do you mean they barely care? You remember that one kid that we were in the academy? Or not even the academy. Do you remember that one kid that we heard when we were kind of like getting at least. That managed to pass the academy by just, well, not being there that whole time for three years and all that. You probably think that this boy is also going to do the same thing. So you say shit. But we can find him in his apartment. Unless he doesn't be there. Unless he's not there no more. And packing up and going somewhere. Samuel will say shit. Shit, shit, shit. I gotta go after him. Can't really let him go. And Robbie and I say, why not? What is so important about this boy? 
something special about him. That you won't just leave him alone. <sighs> I didn't want to really tell you or any of my... Uh, not you or my sister or any of the other clan heirs. And they are listening closely. But that boy, he's one of his last members of his dying clan. Well, of a clan that was kind of... Well, existed... And then died after a while. That's what Raviana says. What do you mean? He's an Uzumaki. From the Whirlpool country. If that's what I can just remember what my grandfather told me. Look, this is where Raviana says from Karasu. Yes. He said that, well, that the boy is interesting and very powerful. Since he's from the Uzumaki. I'm guessing he does know a little bit of ceiling and all that. Well, we don't actually know. If he does, then that's actually very impressive. But, yeah, we don't actually know. But, yeah, this is where they said, so... One of them, one of the guys that I mentioned that can kind of use poison and all that, said, so, he can actually is considered a clan heir, isn't he? Kind of. We don't know which type of Uzumaki is he we can't tell if he's a royal one of the uh, royal members or probably one of the uh, well less royalty members even though even though if he's not royalty or anything like that he's still considered Uzumaki and probably one of the last now of course we don't understand why he has blonde hair or his genshin form but I don't know his whisker marks are complete weird for anyone to kind of pick that as their Genshin to form. Yeah. Now, Naruto, he's going to what's it called Haruzen to talk to Haruzen. And Haruzen says, ah, hello there, boy. Hello, my boy. What happened, la uh, what happened last night? Because Haruzen knows what happened last night somewhat. He felt the Naruto's power. So Naruto says, can you do sealing uh, barrier? Horizon said, fine. So he seals the room and does tell almost out of here. Naruto noticed the room almost killed in an instant. But yeah, Horizon says, you're pretty skilled, Naruto. Well, is there something in your mind? Naruto said, I know about the Naruto's old man. I just wanted to tell you that. And the Naitos and I are kind of good friends. I can use his power a little bit. This is where Horuzen says, hmm, seems you found out very easily. This is where Naruto says, I also know about my parents, but one of them only, Fushina Zumaki, my mother. Horuzen wiped his eyes and said, I guess the Naitos did tell you. The Naitos told you about your father? Naruto hesitated, then said yes. Because he said, screw it. Horizon says, fine. I'll explain who and your mother and your well, father's heritage and also, well, your mother's clan. Since I'm guessing the uh, Naitos probably doesn't tell you fully about her clan. So we go into a one hour time, uh, yeah, one hour later. Just where, well, Naruto nods and does understand now that he's actually, well, the royalty son of the Leaf Village. He's considered royalty. He's actually, well, part of the royalty bloodline of the Uzumaki. So yeah, and also for the Namikaze, he is, well, the Namikaze wasn't really much of a clan or any of it. So, yeah. But, yeah. Now, this is where Horusen says, since you know about your father, I'm guessing it's time for me. Even though I guess you do have the nine tails power and control. How many tails can you go up to? Naruto only said two because he's only a kid and hasn't matured that much. Horusen said, you are seeming more mature than normal. Hmm. Ah, uh, but that's not the point, Naruto. Here you go. Here's a scroll, a key, and also a kunai. 
This one Naruto says, I'm guessing the cool knife is a flying raijin. The scroll is my dad's techniques and maybe my mom's. Hose and says, you're pretty smart. And the key, oh, the key is to the Namikaze compound. The Namikaze compound is, well, hidden. Same with the Uzumaki compound. Your parents wanted to hide it away from, well, the villagers and all that. So no one would be able to kind of get in and try to steal the information from Namikaze or Uzumaki. <laughs> he says, there's some people that you might want to meet. Or, yeah, kind of meet. There are people that, well, your mother and father kind of entrusted if your godparents didn't actually like take care of you when you were younger they were just entrusted to you when you became a certain age or you found out about your true identity naruto naruto nodded this is where well Horusen he takes off the ceiling barrier and this calling for two ombu and then tell them about two pacific names now Nar uh, naruto says so who are these people exactly? Well, Naruto. First person, Kakashi Hatake. And second person, Anko Midarashi. Also known as, well, uh, well, Kushina entrusted Anko Midarashi to take care of you. And Minato, well, put Kakashi Hatake to take care of you. Or not Kakashi Hatake. I must say, yeah, it's Kakashi. But yeah, Kakashi Hatake and his younger brother, Zakaren uh, Hatake. That's from Naruto Nod. And yeah, now of course there's someone else that kind of was put into, well, what's called Kushina side because she picked Anko Midorashi, but also someone else named, uh, what's it called? Hana, not Hanabi. Hana. Uh, Hana Hyuga. Basically, she's actually a daughter of Hayashi. An elder daughter. So, yeah. So, of course, this is where four people appear. And, of course, it's Kakashi, Hatake, Sakuren, Hatake, Hana, uh, Hyuga, and even Anko Mirorashi. Now, of course, they see Naruto. And Naruto kind of just look at them. And, of course, they say, uh, Hello there, Hokage-sama. Did you call for us? All of them said at unison. Peruza nodded and says, Naruto has figured out about his heritage and what he is really about. So, you four are going to have, uh, well, have to train him and also, well, teach him about how his parents were like. Naruto kind of understand and also Naruto said, but before that, <sighs> I guess I have to entrust something more. That's where Haruzen put the seal barrier back up. And Naruto, he says, release. Kenjutsu disappears. Black and white hair appears from the blonde. His, what's it called, eyes change into this color. But instead of being purple, it's just blue and all. So, yeah. Also, uh, what's it called, his clothes are black. And, well, he has what they call a uh, blindfold on. This is where, well, Horizon says, I see. So, it was only illusion. That's why I felt chakra around you being f just kind of changed a little bit. Your appearance. I guess you've shown your true self, Naruto. Hmm. I hope you be trained very well, Naruto. You'll probably become one of the greatest ninjas out there. Now, of course, Haruzen wanted to know what's underneath Naruto's, like, uh, blindfold, but Naruto says he can see fine without what to call his eyes. So, of course, this is where Naruto and the other four disappear, going to the Uzumaki and Amakase clan compound. This is actually where I'm going to leave it off. Have a nice potato day, potato night, potato seat, potato, potato, and potato. Potato. Now, I should mention one thing before I actually leave it off. Naruto's actually kind of, uh, since he's eight years old, he's actually kind of like four nine. 
Yeah, he's a little bit taller than a bunch of other people. But yeah. But yeah, have a nice potato. Potato night, potato night, potato. Potato. Potato.